Hi. Um, the, uh, it's a lousy day now, the rain is coming down, it's cold. Uh, autumn's come in with a bang, we've gone from summer to autumn over the space of a, a day really. It was a lovely day yesterday, lovely and warm, but now it's, uh, well we do need the rain. So I'm hoping that the paper won't dry quite so quick and now we've got some moisture in the sky. I'll, uh, I want to do a Norfolk scene, much favoured by by uh, Seago who used to live, well when he was alive, lived in London. And we've been to Norfolk quite a few times over the years and seen the North Coast, Brancaster, Wells, Clyde. Um, very lovely and especially when you walk out on, on to, the, to, to the water's edge and look back over the, over the marsh grass, the, the vast acreage of marshes towards the the landscape, so we're, we're, we're putting up a fairly, fairly low horizon, and this is quite, as far as I'm concerned, this is quite typical. I suppose that's more or less nice, we're going up a little bit there. Found my rubber, it was lurking somewhere on my table. I lost it on Saturday and I had a bit of a strop because. It wasn't where I thought it was. I couldn't find it. It, it goes round, and, I, it, and it just—I put it down, and it rolls somewhere. So here we are. So we'll we'll do some bit of. We can put the church tower in there. Just a just a bit of no, I don't think we'll. Might do later, but I'll. So it's just going to the to, to nothing here as we go off into the blue beyond, and we'll have a bit of a bit of a creek come across here, and just various colours, warm colours coming forward. I try and do it as delicate as I can. Right, uh, and we'll, we'll put the, the, the Seago tree in, which is just coming across here, from here, so the windswept marsh. Right, now we can put a bit of a fence. Okay, right, I'll wet the paper all over. This Fabriano, 130 pounds as usual. I get it from Arts Discount, Scrapton's. This had a delivery of four tubes of watercolour. I use, naturally enough, more burnt, burnt uh, more raw sienna, and, uh, and, and ultramarine than anything else. You can use what colours you like, but stay with a few colours, get used to them, what they can do. Don't think you can keep solving problems by changing your paint or changing your brush. Watercolours, I use what? Well, a couple of flat, flats, these things. I would use the three-quarter one if I saw one, which would be right in the middle, which would be a more useful size. But the inch is very good. They're both very good. The two-inch hake, Ron Ranson hake, which tends to be clumping up. So you have to work at keeping the, the hairs together. All right, that seems to be okay. So I'll, I'll warm the sky with some nice... Well, let's get some nice bit of red in here as well. Some raw sienna, a bit of light red, dirty light red. So I just get it all over. That's how bad. That's how warm for the clouds in this wintry day, autumn day. And now a nice cloud. Nice bit of a nice bit of uh, 
windswept, red and blue. Add on some so we'll put in some some uh, cloud color in the bottom here. Okay, that's going to be our bit of a creek. Let's dry my brush. Reclip your paper, which you don't need to stretch beforehand. Just put it tight and it will stay reasonably flat for the duration. Right, I'll just take off the excess moisture from the bottom. And now I'm going to dry that. So keep your headphones off, I'll take them off. Now you can see that the uh, red and the black, uh, red and the blue, sorry, tend to separate. If it was flatter rather than this 60 degree to the vertical, um, it would uh, separate even more. And you can exploit that. A, a couple of good uh, other colours to, to do that with is, uh, is black and burnt sienna. Roland Hilda used it a lot in his watercolours. It's a great, a great. Uh, you see, don't don't be fine with black. I, I'm not a lover of paints grey. I've got to say, but black mixes very well with the lemon yellow for the greens, and, and the burnt sienna for warm darks. Don't use it neat, really, but straight out of the tube. So let's put in a background of of uh, trees now. So we'll use. Uh, we we'll use a bit of bit of lemon yellow, bit of bit of red and bit of blue, just to show some nice just nice and light really, you don't want to overwhelm the background. We can add some colours to that in a minute as we go. Put a bit more yellow in. A bit of burnt sienna. It's trying to avoid the mud. Not always easy. No, let's get our horizon straight. Or oh, horizontal anyway. Just to add more blue as you go, because we're going from right to left. A bit of sienna in there. Put the sienna in the same. Nice. I'm just putting warm bits of warm in the cooler, bluey bits. A nice blue now. So this is the bit of distance coming in here now. Right. 
that's we can put in some a bit of dark banking along there. If you like to straighten the uh, the hairs out really with my fingers sometimes. Alright, there we are. And we can just add in a bit of dark, a bit of blue and a bit of burnt sienna. This corner of a brush. Right, we've got enough colour in there. I reckon. Right. Dry the brush, or clean the brush. <coughs> got some nice rich colours in there. Hopefully they'll dry lighter. I'm going to dry that now. So take your headphones off. Right, now I'm going to put in some nice light greeny in there. Some sienas, some warm marsh grasses. Now I've got to be careful about where I put my creek. I don't want it too far back because you wouldn't see it over the sand and muddy creeks. Nice bit of warm in there. Bit of blue in that now. With some a bit of detail here and there along, along here. You wouldn't see lots of it, the shadows. Right, now we need warmer greens now. So I've mixed the burnt sienna, ultramarine, and lemon yellow, so you'll be getting nice greens in there now. Leave it a bit of sparkle. Right. And the, the nice bank now. Right, I'm just using the brush to, to make it look as if there's a lot of detail going in, a lot of stuff. Now we can just bring that bank down into the reflections. We can develop those as we go. To bring that. Just put in a bit of detail, a bit of texture in the uh, drying washes. Paint, no detail at the back here really. 
Uh, there we are. Now we can put a nice bit of bit of warm. This is where we're going to put our tree. So we can put a bit of shrubbery. Just little bits that can be reflected downwards into the water. I'm guessing all this really, I'm sort of just making up to go along. Got my nose in the wrong place there. Ah, Try to keep it fairly transparent as well. Okay, that'll do. Now we've got to work on our tree. I'll dry it off. Hold your ears. Take your headphones off. mention it because somebody complained that they nearly got deafened when they were listening on headphones and I I got the hairdryer out and the last 30 years done. So apologies for that. Right, we got just a detail of time now, so blue and and brown. this tree come in here don't want too much of this a bit of dry back but lots of twiggy things coming to show that how windy this can be here. So I'll just put in a bit of oh, just flicking the rigger just to give a bit of random detail. It looks as if I'm doing a lot but it fatters to deceive of course. Nice start. Oh, it's boring now. No, just a bit of, bit of sparkle with the dark. No, just the edge of the brush. Loads of what look like colours. Like there's not a great lot. I've basically used light red, lemon yellow. No, lemon yellow, lemon yellow, raw sienna, light red, burnt sienna, and the ultramarine five colours. More than as you put. 
So on that, I want to put um, some rich, dark dry brush for my. Yeah, this. I've got a recalcitrant paint like here. The side bristles sort of go into clumps. There's too much water on there. Still too wet. See this the height holds so much water. Okay, let's just Just dry that off, and I'll put some some more twigs on there. Headphones. <coughs> and I might put in. Uh, come on, who's old with it? Put in some uh, fence posts. All go the same way, the way with the predominant wind direction. All quite random. Right, let's go try the old fence trip. Just bits and pieces. Don't let the picture do all the talking. It's a, a lot of found. And I'll just put it, some bigger stuff in there just to fetch it down underneath. This is my 499th video. Um, I hope to finish, get to 500 this afternoon. Well, let's just put in a, just a, a lock on that side, I do. Right, uh, now it's a bit of bowl suit. Okay, so a very simple Seagoes type of, well, it's, it's more bead than anything else. Very little detail, just a windswept tree on a, on a North Norfolk, Brancaster type of salt marsh. Thanks for watching. I'll zoom you in and we'll have a look. Right. See, that couldn't be simpler, could it? It's an impression. It's not a portrait, don't do portraits. Oops. And there's my water. All very simple. There you go. I hope you enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye bye.